because I've known from the very first day that he knew where she was and he wouldn't cooperate with us and he put us through so much, so much pain. This afternoon, a major development in what had become a decade old murder mystery. Mr. Bumpus has been charged with tampering with physical evidence and abuse of a corpse. Police arrested Jacob Bumpus in Colerain Township and charged him in connection with the death of 17 year old Paige Johnson in 2010. For almost a decade, Bumpus has maintained he dropped Johnson off in Covington, but police said his cell phone pinged off a tower near East Fork Lake. Four months ago, a woman called 911 and said her husband found human remains near Williamsburg in Claremont County. He swears up and down it's a human skull. The discovery, made a little more than a mile away from that cell phone tower, gave Johnson's mother hope an arrest might soon follow. I was just so afraid that I would never find her. She wouldn't be found, that I would die without knowing where she was. With Bumpus now in custody, Kenton County Commonwealth's attorney said the path to the justice Johnson's family has waited for desperately for years is suddenly in view. The investigation is ongoing. Uh, it is obviously possible that additional charges could come in the future and certainly if appropriate and if the evidence ultimately develops, it would be our hope that someday we can pursue a homicide charge. Now, Rob Sanders said today it's still not clear how Paige Johnson died. Therefore, a homicide or a murder charge uh, unlikely at this point, barring some unforeseen development. Reporting live tonight in Covington, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5. Todd, and I think this is the part that might surprise our viewers. Without more charges, explain how long Bumpus would spend in prison if he's convicted. Yeah, certainly a question everyone's asking, Cherie. Uh, combine the two felony counts that Bumpus faces carry a maximum of four years, four years incarceration. Of course, Paige's mom, Donna Johnson, saying today she hopes for more charges on down the road, but added that today she is happy because she wasn't sure that Bumpus would ever be arrested in this case. Cherie? Yeah, bittersweet, no doubt about it. And you, your heart breaks for that family. Todd Dykes reporting live tonight. Todd, thank you.